everyone, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. And I'm standing directly to the left of her. And he's also Joe Beretta. What would you say if I said we have the potential to end trolling for good? You might say, hallelujah, finally a comment section full of insight and wit and constructive comments to inspire us all. You might also say tits or GTFO or STFU, you blank, with the blank being some form of intense racism, sexism, or other form of hate language. Whatever your opinion on internet trolling, you should know that in Indonesia, a country normally very liberal in its media laws, it's officially illegal to be a jerk online. And while this sounds amazing, it's not. Under the 2008 Law on Information and Electronic Transactions, people can actually be put in jail for insulting others online. Well-intentioned in theory, not well-intentioned in that it's being used as a way to imprison anyone speaking out against the norm, aka you can kiss your freedom of the type type, speak speak, bye 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 Things people have been arrested for saying so far in Indonesia include the police are corrupt, you're stupid, you're gay, and there is no God. Holy crap, everyone's arrested, the whole internet, there's no one left. And if there's no one left, who's gonna watch our videos? If a source-fed video is posted and there's no one there to watch it, does it make a sound? We're not even real, Joe! But the situation gets even scarier than that. Not Trisha's meta situation. The situation in Indonesia has gone so far that an extremist group, the Islamic Defenders Front, called for the execution of a group of students for holding a seminar entitled God is Rotten, Reconstruction of Fundamentalism to Create a Cosmopolitan Islam. Now, while I'm the first to say I would love to see rude, mean, and hateful people get their comeuppance, both on the internet and in daily interaction, I'm not sure that jailing or execution is the right way to go about it. Not to mention, Who's in charge of deciding what is a jailable offense and how do we keep the system for deciding this as uncorrupt as possible? Oh, look, I'm down with the freedom of speech and I understand that with that, there's a bunch of good, but it also comes with a lot of bad. But if there was a way to put a system in place that worked, would you or would you not? And if you would, where would you draw the line as to what a punishable offense is? Why don't you let us know in the comments down below? Yeah, it's so hard. On one hand, I want to say freedom of speech and F censorship of any kind, but on the other hand, harassment and threats are not okay. Ooh, keep the the conversation going for us down below guys like the video subscribe to the channel and please click the annotation for more videos my name is Joe Beretta his name is Joe Beretta since he didn't say it in the beginning I said it again for him she got my back